man, I will drop kick him <laughs> right now, man. I will do a, a flying dragon Bruce Lee kick. Like, Back what? fist. Lucky Boys Podcast. I think everyone just feels very safe in their own bubble, though, you know? Yeah. It's like the. But those, the those usually those people. I guess when you say bubble, those people won't grow, you know? They, yeah, exactly. You know, they'll stay in their zone, but, you know, ultimately would that, you know, would, would that be beneficial for them, you know? Mm. Um, I, I, see, I see it different. I, I mean, me and Will, we grew up in a very diverse neighborhood, you know, uh, with Chinese, with different Asians, with like Latinos and blacks and... Italians, yeah. Jews, Indians, you know, it's, it's, it was all over. It's a complete melting pot. Uh, however, however diversity at that time for a asian kid in that neighborhood was terrible Mm -hmm. it's extremely dangerous Mm -hmm. extremely dangerous because asians were targeted asians were always getting mugged Mm -hmm. by by their own people too Mm -hmm. Uh, oh my god yeah by their own people and and by everybody else so it it was it was a rough time to be asian i mean i was i remember i was getting fighting if i didn't get in a fight i thought it was weird yeah Just, just going out to the basketball court not even starting trouble i was a quiet kid and uh just just playing basketball yo i like your shoes oh man that's and i'm so like well scary. you can't have them and yeah it's yeah. really scary because some of these are grown-ass men and yeah. you're a kid or, or or like just older teenagers and when you're a kid there's a big difference between a 13 year old's body and a like a 17 year old kid or 15 yeah. year old even yeah you know it's a big difference in strength and, and uh, physical maturity mm-hmm. um but you know, you, it didn't matter to them. You just had to, you had to learn how to uh, navigate through that at, yep. at that time. But now, and I guess we were talking about this before the podcast. It's like, you know, it's tough growing up in a neighborhood where you're the minority, where yeah. you're the token anything. Yeah, right. Totally. It, it, it's it's a, such a major challenge, and I don't know. Are there any benefits to that? Like, for, I mean, other than no one else looks like you, you're pretty exclusive. Maybe to the to the guys. Maybe in a love life kind of thing, like all the guys might be. Hmm, no, I like Asian because girls. honestly, at my school, like I would have to date outside because, um, which I didn't really do much of anyways in high school. But um, everybody was into like blonde girls, blonde girls, blue eyes, like that sort of like that was the epitome of like what is considered pretty. Um, so I actually like I was kind of insecure a lot of the time during high school because like if that was the standard of what's pretty, then like what the heck am I, you know? But mm. like I was always like you know making friends out of town and like meeting other people so i like tried to like broaden my horizons like that when did it all start turning around um probably when i went to college like because i went to school here in new york city at marymount manhattan and i went for theater and being asian in musical theater it was honestly like kind of a, a like a leg up almost because people wanted that diversity Okay. Like, um, in a lot of ways, at least like in the program that I was in, um, like you would definitely be pigeonholed in a lot of ways, but also it kind of worked my benefit, um, a lot of the time. So, yeah. Is it because, um, you know, New York is, is super diverse mm. versus, you know, where you grew up is. Yeah. It was, was like, it a like a breath small, of fresh air. Yeah. I was, was like, thank God I'm here finally. Because like, mm. not only is it di- more diverse, but people don't have like those stereotypes of just like, or just like the microaggressions of like, mm. oh, uh-huh, you're Asian. So you're going to do this. Like, of course you're smart. Cause you, you're, you know, just right. like, just like all that bullshit. Like you kind of just like, don't have to deal with as much. Yeah. Um, uh, which is just a breath of fresh air. Like you can just, I can just be a normal person and go yeah, about my yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm not just like the Asian girl. Like I'm also like, everyone's got to put you a in a neat being. little silo. Yeah, oh, exactly. You, you look like this. Therefore you are, I know exactly who you are. You like rice. You like this. You like yeah, that. Yeah. And there you go. That's you. How about you? Oh yeah. You're just like, yeah. It's just weird. Like when I go, when I go anywhere outside of New York city and as soon as I open my mouth, yeah. And they hear the way I speak and mm-hmm. the way I guess I carry myself or just the energy that I have. Mm-hmm. They're all blown away. Like, Probably You're so not from confused around here. To like, <laughs> hey there, right? what, what, what the gosh darn is, what's going on with this guy right here? We, 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 we got we to gotta learn more about this one right here. Were you adopted? <laughs> Were you adopted? You know, it's just bizarre. I, I used to live down in Florida and it was just. Oh, um, Florida. It took, it took them a mm. while to warm up to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm uh but they did it was awesome but when we where we went to school let me tell you i love buffalo i mean we talked about this before but 
this was a crazy you want to know right you want to know microaggression mm. we will go into and it's probably still like that now but we would go to a restaurant in buffalo any and if any any listeners or, or viewers uh right now if you're asian or if, even if you're not if you go to buffalo look at where the asians are if, if there are any asians in a restaurant with you well it's COVID now but in the future <laughs> um and and i'll tell you what we would go in they it would take us it would take them longer to seat us really that's one two when they did finally seat us hmm. and it, it, it took and i finally found out why it took them longer to seat us it wasn't because they were just trying to be you know uh, dismissive of, of us hmm. they actually did their job and sat us but they sat us away from the white people so they were creating are you serious yes yeah, so they are creating like an actual barrier right? Tell me. Tell me, tell, did well, yeah, there's, there, there were, there were, this is Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Yeah. This is wow. a, and any Asian that went to Buffalo, New York that actually went outside and eat. I'm never going to Buffalo. With any type of. So it wasn't like they were going, I hate you, you chinkity chink or something. Yeah. You know, they, it wasn't like that. But you can feel it's just that like the energy. passive aggression. Oh, that oh that stare, that one stare. Mm-hmm. You look like like you're a dirty animal. Yeah. Right. Like, they're like, what what are you doing? In like my, you're a sad. Yeah, it's almost like people are suspicious my, of you because yeah, yeah. you're like foreign. Like, like you're or some like, type of like yeah. like motherfucker. I'm American. Like yeah. you know, what, are you, what are you doing? But so they, we they would sit us down and r- roll all the tables around us would be empty, mm-hmm. and then it's a packed restaurant, empty, and then everybody else. That is over there. so insane. Asians, this side, it was wow. so bizarre. Or um, we were at an art gallery, and, and I don't think I was there. And Wait. then um, I wasn't with you. I was with uh, I think Phil. Okay. And uh, so we're in an art gallery, and it's like one of those art gallery happy hours. We're drinking, we're looking at art, and I, I, I see this um, these white people come in. And and it was all good. I didn't, we didn't care. We were like, hey, what's up? And I was there with my white friend and Phil and a couple of other people. And then I hear them going, "Hey, uh, let's get out of here." And and they said it in a normal voice, not like whispering. Let's get out of here. And he's like, "Why? We just got here." The white friend, the white friend goes, "There's so many Asians here." I was just like, "The fuck?" Full, it, it, like full voice, like a full le- voice, normal like voice, full normal voice. voice. He wasn't trying to shout or be, yeah, uh, you know flamboyant or anything or but he also or didn't bother funny. to like whisper it or he just, just not he, say he it he just at said all. it like i don't give a fuck it's yeah which means that it's normal it's normalized it's normal to yeah him. normal to him he was like yeah. they're just they're wow. just he was like why do you want to leave we just got here he goes there's just so many asians here just like that just uh, like that yeah. there's just so many asians so here. so many and i looked out i was like 